Our lesson for today is all about metric capacity and volume. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space something takes up. And the two most common measurements of volume are milliliters and liters. A milliliter is a very small amount of liquid. Here is a milliliter of milk in a teaspoon. It only fills the bottom of the teaspoon. The word milliliter literally means one thousandths of a liter. When we collect 20 drops of water, we have about one milliliter. And a teaspoon can hold about five milliliters. Milliliters are often written as L for short, so 100 ml means 100 milliliters. They can also be written as ML with a capital L so it doesn't look like 1. Here we have 150 ml of milk in a measuring cup. Sometimes kapag meron tayong measuring cup, walang 150. So basically, ang 150 ay nasa pagitan ng 100 and 200 ml. A liter is just a bunch of milliliters put all together. In fact, 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to 1 liter. This jug has exactly 1 liter of water in it. Liters are often written as L for short, so 3L means 3 liters. Some people use lower case, but I prefer gamitin natin yung malaking L para hindi siya magmukhang 1. These are the examples of liters, milk, soda, and other drinks often sold in liters. Alam nyo ba ang cube na may 0.1 meters o kaya naman 10 cm or 100 mm, ang nasa loob niyan ay nagko-contain ng isang litro? And a square meter that is 1 mm thick also contains 1 liter. The next time pag pumunta ka ng store, take a minute and look on the labels to see how many liters or milliliters are in each container. And you may come across these other volume measurements. And these are those. A cubic millimeter is a cube that is 1 millimeter on each side. It is very small. And we need 1,000 cubic millimeters to make just 1 millimeter. It is also 1 million of a liter and a 1 billion of cubic meter. And these are some of the examples of a liter. A liter is about the quantity in a sports drink bottle. On the other hand, a milliliter or ml is all about the size of a grape. O yan naman, a fifth of a teaspoon or exactly one cubic centimeter. As we continue our discussion about measurements of capacity and volume, in this mission, we will be able to convert capacity measurements from one unit to another and solve problems involving capacity. As an extension, the capacity of container is the amount of liquid it can hold. Volume and capacity are related in the metric system. A container that can hold 1 cubic centimeter of water has a capacity of 1 milliliter. For our table, ito yung metric units of liters. So, in word, we have kiloliter, KL in symbol, 1000 liters. Hectoliter, HL, 100 liters. Decaliter, DAL, 10 liters. Liter, L, 1 liter. Deciliter, uh, DL, 0.1 liters. Centi centiliter, CL, 0.01 liters. Milliliters, ML, 0.001 liters. And dito sa topic na volume and capacity, same rule lang din naman ang gagamitin natin dito. So kung ang conversion nyo ay papunta sa right, then magmumulan tayo ng decimal point papunta sa right. O kaya naman, magmumultiply tayo ng 10. On the other hand, kapag ka papunta naman sa left, nagdi-divide tayo ng 10, o kaya yung decimal point ay minumove natin sa kung gaano karaming beses nag-move yung decimal point. And for our first example, magko-convert tayo ng mga measurement to another measurement. So we have 0.24 KL. Ano kaya ang value niya kapag kinonvert sa liter? So, 
To convert from kiloliter to liter, we start at kiloliters and move three steps to the right to obtain liters. Okay, so bilang tayo, one, two, and three. Hence, we move the decimal point three places to the right. So ito yung solution natin. So meron tayong 0.24 KL dyan. Mag-move tayo ng tatlong beses to the right. So, 1, 2, teka, palitan ng kulay. 1, 2, and 3 to the right. So, madadagdagan tayo dyan ng 0. Kaya naman, this is the same as multiplying 0 0.24 by 1,000. Thus, 0 0.24 kiloliters converts to 240 liters. Sulat natin yan dito. And as we continue our example here, we have 500 DL converts to ML. So, DL is deciliter, ha? So, 1, 2, dalawang best tayo nag-move papunta sa right. So, hence, we move the decimal point 2 places to the right. So, we have 500 deciliter equals to 500, move lang tayo ng decimal ng dalawang beses, and 1, 2. Okay, dadagay natin ng 0, ng dalawang 0 lang. Hence, uh, thus, thus, our final answer would be 50,000 ml. So, ibig sabihin, si 500 deciliter ay equivalent daw sa 50,000 milliliters. Now, as we move on, the chart below shows how the customary units of capacity are related. Okay, first meron tayong volume in cubic units capacity. And isa-isahin natin, we have 1 cubic yard, that is about 200 gallons. 1 cubic foot, that is about 7.48 gallons. 231 cubic inches, about 1 gallon. And for the customary units of capacity, we have 8 fluid ounces. Ayan yung symbol niya. Equal yan sa 1 cup. So, dalawang cup equal sa 1 pint. 1 pint. At yung dalawang pint equal sa 1 quart. At yung 4 quarts, yan naman ay isang galon lang. Uh, yan ang mga kailangan natin tandaan. And for our final example, we have volume in cubic units capacity and customary units capacity guide. Okay? So, i-convert natin ito muna. Tanggalin ko lang yan saglit. Okay, 50 quarts. Convert natin si watt gallon. So, tignan natin yan dito sa, uh, sa right side. Itong 4 quart equals sa 1 gallon. Okay, pwede natin gamitin yan. So, for our solution, yes, we have uh, 5, 4 quarts. Equivalent yan sa 1 gallon. Then, um, 50 quarts here equal uh, multiply to uh, 1 gallon over 4 quarts to be able to eliminate the quart. Okay? So, 4 quarts. So, eliminate natin yung symbol na quart. Multiply natin si 50 kay 1. Okay? 50 times 1, that is 50 gallon over 4. Then, we simplify 50 divides 4 that should be 12.5 gallons. Okay, ibig sabihin yung 50 quarts ay equivalent sa 12.5 gallons. So, i-move ko lang muna yung pangalawang example natin. 1.25 gallons convert to cup. Meron tayong tatlong proseso na i-apply dyan. So, unang proseso, uh, we need to change uh, we need to change gallons to quart. Dito kasi meron, pag meron tayong 4 quarts, yan daw equivalent sa 1 gallon, di ba? So, we have 1.25 gallons. Multiply natin sa 4 uh, quarts over 1 gallon to eliminate the gallons. Okay? So, 1.25 times 4, that is 5 quarts. So, na-convert na natin yung unang proseso. Pangalawang process natin, uh, we need to change naman yung quartz to pint. 
And to be able to do that, alamin muna natin kung ano ba ang customary units capacity nun. So, change tayo ng quartz to pin. So, that is also equivalent to 2 pin equals 1 quart. Okay, kanina ang sagot natin is 5 quarts. Diba? Ito yun. Ayan. So, we have 5 quarts kanina. Yung sagot natin. Imumultiply natin sa 2 pin over 1 quart to eliminate the unit quart. So, 5 times 2, that is 10 pin. And we are down to our last process. Itong proseso na to, dito natin makikita yan. Ito, yung 2 cups kasi, equivalent daw yan sa 1 pin. So, madali na lang. So, change natin yung pin to cup. Okay? So, meron tayong 2 cups sa isang pin. So, 10 pin times 2 cups over 1 pin. So, eliminate natin yung unit na pin. Multiply natin si 10 sa 2. That is 20 cups. Therefore, 1.25 gallons is equal to 20 cups. And that is how we convert gallon to cup using customary units of conversion. See you in our next lesson.